thinking about live action role playing game, it's sort of like a costume party with hors Oh, trust me, I've been LARPing for twenty five years. Have you? Because I never, I never did until I met oh, yeah. Andy. And those guys are, I mean, and there's like, there's, I guess, there's two different kinds. Yeah. There's your boffer uh, LARPing, and mm-hmm. then there's more of your acting LARPing. No, you can mix them. There's a group locally well, called sure. Legacies that Kim is heavily involved in. Yeah. And they do. It's it's a fantasy LARP. It's a fantasy LARP. And what? There's hitting? There's boffers? Yeah, there's, there's boffers. Okay. But there's a lot of problem solving and interaction as well. Yeah, and yeah. Because I, th- but- I know that his buddy Lee does more boffer stuff. Uh-huh. And, um, well, but there's-, there's always like puzzles and... and- mm-hmm. And missions and, and well, whatnot. A lot of them are, there's one called Amphgar, which is mostly How do you spell Amphgar? Amphgar, A-M-F-G-A-R, I okay. think. I'm not, it's not my no worries. But they're more like the one, if you ever saw Role Models. Nope. Which is more like, you know, war type stuff. Beat okay. the, everybody beats the crap out of each other. Role Models is actually kind of hilarious in their treatment of LARPers. The movie? Yeah. Okay. Um, and But it's actually not... A, a, an embarrassing portrayal of LARPers, which is nice. It's just that a, is nice because you know? um, that's that's part of the problem. Is is that you're just like, hey, uh, you played army when you were a kid, and now you watch nineteen thousand hours of NFL football. So yeah. how about somebody else has a hobby, yeah. and it involves going outside and playing army with their thirty year old friends. Exactly. So, <laughs> but it, it all ties together because I mean, I've done role playing games for most of my life, and that's one reason where I picked up a lot of like. Writing different characters, creating characters, yeah. figuring out what their background is and how it affects how they behave. And so yeah. that's, it all sort of boils right back into the writing. It's just that now I script everything. Yes. And uh, that's one of the things. It's, it's just, it's know. more structure. You know, yeah. I mean, that's all a script is. is it, it's Because mm-hmm. Andy's always trying to get me to LARP. It's like acting and it's like improv and you would like, uh, and I've done two. Uh, and I wasn't, I mean, there. It's not everybody's thing. And it was fun. I did, um, he, Andy ran, he did a series, and the last one he did, him and his buddy Lee put up this, a Sandman LARP, uh-huh. um, the Neil Gaiman okay. series, and um, it was based on sort of the wake, mm-hmm. but it was essentially, and you would have loved this, because it was, um, it was, they, they didn't know, it wasn't Dream who was dying for sure. The entire LARP was based on the fact that one of the nine endless were going to die. Mm. So they needed nine one-act plays of how each person would die. And then wow. there would be a decision made. So it was, you know, six hours at a theater with uh-huh. 47 players. And I was like, I will do craft services. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and my friend Maria Bamford was... Um, and then I said, and I will be an extra. I'll uh-huh. go and I'll deliver like a note to Odin. Or whatever, or, you know, whatever's happening, and so um, they cast uh, they cast us in a couple of the to play extra parts. And Maria, they still talk about because Maria auditions a lot, uh-huh. and uh, so she acts a lot. And she played; she was in the Death of Desire, uh-huh. and the Death of Desire uh, short play was done um, was written, I think, and acted by Jim Keller. And this guy, whatever you don't know, <laughs> and uh, That's okay. perfectly nice man. Anyway, so. Maria played Apathy, which mm-hmm. is what killed Desire. <laughs> which was very funny, and Maria freaking nailed it. You know, oh, she knocked it out of the... So it's like that. Well, like, my friend Kim, she her different characters... That She has several different characters she plays at Legacies. Yeah. And she is tickled to death that people have different opinions of her different characters, and it's very important to her. Yeah. She actually even packs different bedding for different characters. I mean, everything. When she switches characters in the middle of a game, her whole area switches. Okay. You know, but... like, Wait, So what? T- talk to me more about Legacies. Why is she oh, switching characters? What's uh, happening? During the game, the game lasts for a weekend. Okay. And what? so everybody's allowed to switch characters at some point once. Oh, okay. Right? So you can play two different characters over the course All right. of the game. And she, but you, you, so you bring two of your four. You have, you're allowed to have up to four that you're playing okay. at one time, roughly. So you bring two kits. Yes, basically. And, and you know, and one of her characters. And does one of them die, maybe? Or? That's, well, that's one reason you bring an extra just in case, because okay. it is always possible for a character to die. It's true. And, but like one of her characters is she, she runs the bar, she cooks the food, everybody trusts her, everybody goes to her for help and healing and stuff. She's like, you know, the, the, the mama character. And, and, and then one of her other characters is, like, people are scared of her because she is creepy. She has, like, the, the, the ninja kind of black outfit on. Okay. And she, I mean, and, and you know, and, and she just scares people. She's right. just a little bit edgy <laughs> and a little bit creepy. And she has a tendency to um, 
to, to do things to put people off specifically. But but she's, you know, pleased with the fact that she can play these characters so differently mm-hmm. that people are specifically, reacting. you know, reacting in different ways that's to them. That's neat. That's yeah. cool. I mean, and that's that's one of the funnest things about a, a lot of the acting and stuff. I mean, like role-playing games in general. I mean, I role-played for many.